And what are your names? Uh, I'm Stanfield. And I am a variety performer of Volga Vaga. Now, I was talking to you guys and it, you had told me you're more of a sci-fi nerd and you're more of a, a nerd nerd. Nerd nerd, pure nerd, all science. Yes. And uh, tell me, um, you what kind of sci-fi do you like? Uh, primarily, I'm a Trek person, but I, I refer to myself as a, a fan nerd, you know, a little bit of Wheaton, a little bit of uh, cosplay, a little bit of, you know, I just, I kind of uh, drift around. You drift around? Are you uh, anything, do you like Doctor Who? You know, that is one of the very few fandoms that we're not into, mostly because it became so popular that by the time we thought we were going to try to get into it, all of our friends were talking about it so much, we were tired of hearing about it. So I got myself into it watching Netflix. And, um, unfortunately, it sets me off like sugar. It's like, <laughs> I, I have a hyper problem and it sets me off. And now you, you're the opposite, like I said, you're a nerd geek. Right, uh, I'm, I'm a miniature astronomer and a miniature astrophysicist because, again, there's nothing amateur about it. I don't like the word amateur, so I don't, I don't do it professionally, but, but that's what I get into. And I'm a software engineer by trade, so science, yeah. technology, that's, that's my thing. So you're science, technology, and you said software engineer? Yeah. What does a software engineer do? Uh, engineer software? Neat. <laughs> so, Jackass. <laughs> right. Um, well, so so it, it goes, you know, software programming, you know, or software. De so programming is, is writing code. Development is overseeing different disparate aspects of code being written in order to develop an application. Uh, engineering is to develop applications as solutions to specific problems. So, like an engineer uh, is more than a draftsman. You know, a draftsman draws draws the drawings. Uh, an architect makes. Uh, overseas drawings that are drawn to a specific solution of a building and then an engineer uh, just starts with a problem uh, and then devises solutions for that problem using technology. So. Okay, um, now um, I'm going to switch gears on uh, topics a little bit. How many years have you guys been coming to Decon now? Uh, this is our fourth in a row. She came a few years before that without me, but together we made the last four, including this one. And what do you like about Dragon Con? Uh, nerd, uh, it's, it's got everything. It's, you know, being into science, I'm also into science fiction. I, I, I could, I could, uh, I could skip the panels. Honestly, the panels are great. The panels are fun. I'm really interested in hearing experts on specific topics. I hit almost every track at some point or other. But to me, it's really important to be immersed in our nerd culture. Um, the only other time of year you get that really is uh, for Ren Fair, or I'm, I'm a burlesque performer, of course, so there are nerds there. Um, You're a what performer? A burlesque performer. Oh, okay. Um, down in Florida. So it's it's nice to know that you can step into a room and make a Firefly reference and most of the people in the room are going to get it. Well, and also it's one of the few operations, so it's 17 different conventions in one, so if you, you know, if you, if you only go to one convention, go to the one that's got all of them. And, and it's one of the few opportunities that we have uh, in our lives to outnumber the jobs collectively. Really? Um, now, uh, do you guys have a favorite track that you guys enjoy going to every year? Uh, I tend to do science and space and skeptics. Uh, I wander around and look at the cosplayers. Uh, sometimes back at home, you'll see me put on. Uh, I'm not a furry, but a furritan. Uh, furritans are people who, you know, uh, wear a particular fur costume, but not in a sexual way. Uh. So back home, if I'm running around in fox ears, people assume I'm into something that I'm not. Uh, that is super neat. <laughs> uh, what I like about this convention is, I mean, it's so far. I mean, I I go to uh, several anime ones because I'm into anime. And, uh, so far. I have to, I, I, wow, Wendy. So far, I think this is one of the most Thank interesting uh, conventions because and unique because I've never seen any of them have live solar astronomy before. Yeah. That was pretty cool. We saw a live solar flare and uh, he noted that one of the flare was actually slowly moving. Yeah, like, uh, uh, those oil things from the 60s. Yeah. Oil, oil. oil slick? Well, with the, the <laughs> oil running down the wire. Yeah. I have no idea. Uh, they're yeah. oh, now, you're, now there's a difference between a prominence and a solar flare. Is that correct? That is correct. Like a so, like a prominence is what goes up. Are the the eruptions that go in and out? It, it's the sky. It, did you say that it's the sun that draws? It's a ma it's a magnetic force that draws the eruption back in. I'm sorry, I was completely distracted. Oh, the pro a prominence. <laughs> is a well, prominence. So, right, so, 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 uh, is stuff coming out of the sun um, 
what makes it a prominence is really when the magnetic field pulls it pulls it back in and gives you that nice okay. arc shape. All right. Well, thank you so much. Not at all. Thank you.